Sports leader nine, Alexandra Vitale. It uh, didn't take long for head coach Mark Rick to find Todd Grantham's replacement, and Rick goes back to where he coached for 14 years, and he ends up tapping into the defending national champion, Florida State, Jeremy Pruitt, who, as many of you guys know by now, is leaving the Seminole program for Georgia after only one season as defensive coordinator for FSU. Pruitt spent three seasons at Alabama prior to his year at Florida State. Here is Georgia's new D.C. at today's press conference. Oh, I'm excited to be here. And the first thing I want to say that I, I want to thank Coach Jimbo Fisher for giving me an opportunity at Florida State. And, and uh, you know, it was a great staff to work on. And I, I, he gave me a tremendous opportunity so I could be here before you all today. But I'm excited about being a part of the University of Georgia. You know, I, I said this earlier to a couple of people. In 2003, I was a, a high school football coach at Fort Payne High School, and I brought two prospects over here to Georgia uh, that Georgia was possibly looking at, and I had an opportunity to sit down with Coach Rick. And at that time, this the first time I ever met him. And when I walked out of that room, you know, 30 minutes later, I was wild. I was wild. My father looked at me and said, that's what college football is all about. And I said right then and there, if I ever had an opportunity to work for him, that I wanted to be a part of his staff. And I'm just thankful that I got the opportunity to come to the University of Georgia and hopefully to get this thing going to where Coach Rick has a vision for it going. Dog fans looking for better results out of the defense, which was 79th in scoring defense last season. Hard to do better than Pruitt in that category. His Knowles were first. The Smith Station Panthers football team is looking for a new head coach. After six seasons with the Panthers, Mark Rose is leaving Smith Station and has accepted the head coaching position at North Jackson High School in Stevenson, Alabama. Returning to a school where he spent eight seasons and won 85 games, Rose won't take up post until March 3rd because he is current. His main priority right now is helping the seniors get through the recruiting process leading up to National Signing Day. Rose said that leaving Smith Station was a difficult decision, calling the 2013 season one of the most rewarding of his career as a high school coach. The Panthers won 10 games, ending long losing streaks against Opelika and Auburn, and advanced to the state quarterfinals for the first time since 1996. Well, the list of candidates to replace A.J. McCarron as Alabama quarterback became shorter after Luke Del Rio announced he will be leaving the program. Del Rio will strongly consider transferring to Oregon State. He said he had an incredible year at Alabama, but is excited for the next chapter of his life. Now, Luke's father, Jack Del Rio, is the Denver Broncos defensive coordinator and has a close relationship with Oregon State coach Mike Riley. Now, Oregon State recruited Luke out of high school and offered him a scholarship, but he chose to walk on to Alabama instead. Auburn commit Rock Thomas was named the 32nd recipient of the Alabama Sports Writer Association's Mr. Football Award today at the ASWA's annual Player of the Year Awards luncheon. Thomas, a 5'11", 200-pound senior, fought injuries this entire season and still came away with 2,211 yards rushing and 32 touchdowns. And that's a look at sports tonight, Jason and Barbara. All right, Alexandra, thank you, sir. Wow. I love wow. that. That's like a dream come true. That really. I'm so sure for him. Wow. Another, yeah. another cool thing, later when the news station came to do the story, uh -huh. he actually made the shot for them on camera wow. while he was there. So yeah. good stuff good there. Good for him. Absolutely. That's great. Hey, cold out there tomorrow morning, back down in the mid-20s as we kick off your Thursday. Another cold morning Saturday morning, but we'll warm up a bit by Sunday and Monday. All righty. Wow, cool. That's all for us tonight. Be sure to wake up with news later on morning at 5 a.m. Updates anytime, WTVM.com. Good night. It'll be cold.